Now we'll move on to the subsidiary function. I already told you under the subsidiary functions we have four types that is innovation, representation, decision making and communication. So innovation means finding the new things. So in our day to day life in the world every day we will be facing the competitions. So innovation includes developing new materials, new products, new technology in the business. And next one comes the representation. Representation means the person or the superior or the manager who leads the organization. So a manager has to act as a representative of the company. So he is the dealer with the customers, suppliers, government officials, banks, financial institutions and also trade unions. And the third one is decision making. So here every each and every employee of the organization have to be given the chance to take his own decision in everyday activities of the organization. And the last one that is the fourth one is communication. So communication is passing the thoughts, views or opinion from one person to another person. That means what shall be done, where it shall be done, how it shall be done and when it shall be done. So these are the subsidiary functions of the organization.